Hello everyone, I don't do this often, but anytime that I need to go into defense mode activate, I'm going to do so. I'm going to show you about proper etiquette when dealing with other people online. I mean, for the most part, I don't bother other people on their YouTube channels and try to tell them what to do. I let them do what they do because they have the right to their own creative freedom. But of course, when I do releases, I showcase which things are going into future updates. In this case, uh, we have Snoop Dogg in PlayStation 1 NBA Jam Tournament Edition mod. But the fact is, you weren't able to truly run 4-player mode activate. So I did what I could to have this run better on the mini classics, more optimally and such. But those of you who do follow my YouTube videos know that I typically do blog-style anecdotal stories. Like going about TV shows, movies, etc. Past references to my own life and such that uh, many people have grown uh, to really enjoy. Enjoy. And I get some great, great feedback. I mean, just go into this video right here. You see some great, great people who follow my videos on a regular basis. I mean, including Demi Godex himself, who did the mod. But second prize, Eric P, RX Gamer, Black Sunshine, Dimitri, Methiopolis. I mean, these people are all awesome amongst all the other 5,000 plus subscribers. I mean, and I will never, ever, ever sacrifice the integrity of what I'm trying to achieve here. This is a retro style video channel where I do anecdotal stories and all that. And if you come across like somebody who's not into seafood... Don't go on to launch on servers and say, L uh, let's see food. I mean, in the case of this, I posted this video right here on Reddit so people can see this. It has quite a few likes, 44 likes so far. And this one guy comes in here with the most racist name ever. I mean, it is what it is. Ashton Blackson uh, toned down the commentary a bit. I mean, this is pretty much what it comes across as is somebody who would basically see somebody who might need to lose a few pounds. But they just outright say, blunt style, hide behind a keyboard, lose some weight. Or if they have another channel where somebody wants to really cater to an American audience, they might uh, do their video in English, even though they might not speak perfect language. Uh, English is their first language. And then he might say, uh, learn English, etc., etc. And there's, <laughs> there actually is one funny, funny commercial about learning English, which is uh, kind of a bad commercial at this point. But it has basically people in America saying like sexual phrases, not realizing that they are sexual phrases because they need to learn English. And the commercial is about learning English. I mean, uh, you just go to YouTube itself like I'm going to do right now. YouTube.com. And uh, you can just type in, I mean, obviously, like, learn English funny commercial and you should find the commercial I'm talking about <laughs> it should be right here there we go Band commercials learn English just look it up and watch it it's absolutely ridiculous and it like it's taking the humor and it's like self-aware humor funny funny stuff but in any case this guy right here uh, Ashton Blyson said tone down the commentary a bit that is more of a demand and constructive criticism. Then Rick Drips follows up right after him, says the commentary feels more like it is about showcasing you instead of the actual gameplay, so it can be incredibly polarizing. But if you read farther down, I mean, uh, despite his articulate and very, very nice post, he says that he's more into watching videos that don't have any commentary at all. That is his own niche choice in how he does things, his own perspective there. But, uh, like I said, if you're not into seafood, don't go to Long John Silver's and say, less seafood. The people who do watch my videos know what they're getting into, and it is what it's all about. Anyway, uh, Action Blyson, if you want me to tone down the commentary bit, simply go to my channel, watch my video, click play, and push the freaking mute button. That's how you tone down my commentary. That's how it is. If you don't want to hear me talk, mute me.